Hello, and welcome to the PC America Reseller Training Series. My name is Adam Moore, and I'm the sales engineer that will be conducting today's training. Today we're going to be discussing reporting. Let's begin. When you first click on the software, this brings you into your login screen. On your login screen, you have Manager, Help, and Exit. Manager allows you to make any kinds of back office changes or any adjustments that need to be made in the software. Help stores all of our FAQ knowledge, so if you're struggling with any aspect in the software, you can refer to our Help menu. Exit allows you to exit out of the software. Manager. When you hit Manager, you're prompted with a password. This password is admin on the top and 01 at the bottom. Let's type that in now. And then 01 at the bottom. This brings us into our Manager screen. We're now going to click on number 5, Administrative, and letter L, Reporting. Now this is your reporting screen. There are over 75 different reports in the screen. We're not going to cover all, all these reports, but reports that are specific to your everyday needs. Let's just break down the screen a little so you know how it works. So as you can see here, we have reports based on these categories, sales, inventory, customers, employee, restaurant, and rentals. In the middle section here, these are the list of all of our reports. When you highlight a report, it gives you a brief description of what that report details. The middle section here, certain criteria, certain criteria will open up when you have that report selected. To the right here, we have a start date and start time. If you double click into the start date, it pulls up a little calendar for you. Same thing with the time frame, pulls up the time as well. On the top right here, we have advanced reporting. These are for customers or end users that have a background with SQL or Crystal reporting. We also have the ability to create a report for you, which is another product that we do offer. And that is if any of these reports are not fitting any of your needs. All right, let's take a look at a couple of these reportings here. And we're going to start with sales. So as I mentioned in all my other previous trainings, whenever you void an item out of the system, that is tracked and recorded in your invoice totals report. So if we hit this report here, we'll hit display. And as I mentioned, it's option number three, voided invoices. So if we hit three, let's hit OK now, and it'll show you all voids that have been done for the day. We also have the ability to export reports out of the system, and we have a number of extensions that you can export too. We have Crystal Reporting, PDF, Character Separated Values, Microsoft Excel, Rich Text Format, and XML. If you hit this report again, let's hit display, and this will show us all of our completed invoices as well if we hit option number one. If we have anything left on hold, we can also view those invoices as well. So if we hit one, this will show you all the transactions we've done today. Very detailed as you can see, and again, you can also export this report if you need to. Next report we're going to look at is going to be your detailed daily report. Now this report closely resembles your end of day report. The only difference is, is that this report does not Z out your machine or settle your credit cards. You also have the ability to set a date and time on this report. As opposed to the end of day, you do not have that ability. The end of day is just a straight default report and it will print for how many days it has not been ran for. So let's say that you haven't run an end of day in three days. It's going to close that end of day out for all three of those days. Detailed daily report, this allows you to make selections, and also enable certain options on this report. Let's hit display. So as you can see, we have a bunch of check marks here that we can enable in that report. We also have the ability to break this report down by cashier and station. And again, if you double click in the start date field, pulls up a calendar, and the same thing with the time. This report is very detailed and this prints to your receipt printer. As opposed to your end of day, where it prints to a full size printer. And that is a very long detailed report. It gives you all your sales, everything you've done for the day, uh, any discounts, any, any credit card sales, you know, everything you've done for that day is tracked and recorded on your end of day report. Next report we're going to look at is your detailed, daily, de detailed department sales. And this is your product mix report. 
very detailed report. So if we hit display, we'll say all sales. This will show us all of the departments that were sold out of. Now, I have more than three departments in here, but it's only showing the three because these are the only departments that I have sold products out of. And again, you can also export this report if you need to. General hourly report. This, are, this report can be used in a couple ways. This can be used to see when's your busiest times, you know, what, what part of the day is your most busiest times. You could also use this report to schedule your staff accordingly. So if you know that you're busy between the hours of uh, 8 and 5, you know, and maybe not so busy between 5 and 10, you know, you can schedule your staff accordingly. So if we hit display to show you what it looks like. You know, it gives you a little time frame of, you know, what, what sales were done between when and when. And it also shows you the departments that we sold out of and how many items were sold out of that department. And again, you can also export this report as well. You know, as I mentioned, you know, there's over 75 reports in the system. We're not going to cover every report, but reports that are, you know, specific to your everyday needs. If you're tracking gift cards in the system, you could always run a gift card balance report. Invoice totals, daily summary. This report is similar to your, uh, to your end of day report, just that you have the ability to set a start date and start time. Shift summary, pre pretty self-explanatory, gives you a summary of the shift, you know, given the time and date that you have set in the software. Daily close reprint. If you need to do a reprint of your end of day, this is the report that you would run. And once you hit print, all end of days that you've ran will populate in the screen. Payment type breakdown. Pretty self-explanatory, you know, breaks down your payment types, you know, if, what you're taking in cash, checks, credit, debit, you know, mobile payments, so on. Payout report. If you're doing any kind of payouts, if you have vendors, uh, maybe you need to pay for a service, you know, this is the payout report that we'd use to view any of those payouts that were done from the register. This is money that's taken out of the drawer to pay a service. Invoice exceptions and operational exceptions. Now, these two reports are very important. Uh, these are the two reports you can use to track the functionalities of the employee, okay? Now, an example of an invoice exception would be any kind of a line discount or any kind of invoice discount, anything like that, uh, any kind of line deletions or uh, any discounts that were ran, you know, on an invoice. That's considered invoice exceptions, and that is where that's tracked and recorded in your invoice exceptions report. Now, opening the cash drawer or maybe going into the reporting screen or going into your inventory maintenance screen, that's considered an operational exceptions. And that's how you can track those functionalities in the operational exceptions report. Flash report. For what this report is, it's very detailed. It's a good quick figure report so you know exactly where you are for the day. Let's hit display. Show what this report looks like. So it gives you your net sales, net sales tax, net sales not taxed, any exempt sales that you've ran, liabil liability items that you've sold. All right, it also tells you what you've taken in taxes for the day and your gross sales. And at the bottom here, it gives you a breakdown of what you've taken in cash, checks, credit and debit, EBT, on account, mobile payments, and any offers that were, that were uh, offered through your mobile payments as well. And it also tracks your gift card and vouchers that have been issued. The bottom here, we have credit card detail report, credit card batch detail report. Now, these reports are very similar. The only difference is, is that this report gives you the detail of all your credit cards that have been taken. The credit card detail batch report, the credit card batch detail report, gives you details on when the batch was sent over from the system to the processor. Next category we're going to move on to is inventory. Important reports in inventory, we have list alphabetical and list numerically. These two reports are used to view all of your items that you have entered into the system. So if we hit display, this report is very detailed and it will list all of our departments on the left here and all the items you have currently added into the system. It will also give us an inventory value of what our inventory is worth. And as I mentioned, any, any report that you view this way is able to, is, uh, you have the ability to export this out of the system. As I mentioned, there's a number of extensions that you can export to. List numerical, list numerically is the same report, just listed numerically as opposed to alphabetical. 
Reorder report. In the system, you have the ability to set reorder levels and reorder quantities. This means if you have these levels set, it'll automatically dump these items into this report so you know what needs to be ordered and how many of that product needs to be ordered. Very important report, especially if you're utilizing the inventory the way it should be. Inventory sales summary, pretty self-explanatory. Department listing shows all the departments you have listed in your system, and you also have items by department, which shows you all your items you have in those departments. Vendor listing, if you're tracking your vendors in the system to order your products, we have a vendor listing where you can export out of the system as well. Current value, this will give, just give you a quick dollar amount of your entire, of your entire inventory. So I hit display, shows up on screen, $99,802. Top sellers report. This is a great report because you know this is what's your hottest items that you're selling. If you're tracking your inventory with a pocket inventory device, we have the ability to run a discrepancy report so you can track what you have on stock in yourselves versus your actual in stock. You know, item activity report, pretty self explanatory. You know, it shows you all the items that have been ordered uh, through a purchase order and it also gives you a date range of when those items are going to be received or when they were ordered. Again, we have another top 10 sellers report. And your purchase order report, which is pretty important as well, you know, this allows you to generate a report based on all your purchase orders that are open or that have been sent out. Customers. Next category we're moving on to. Now, in customers, we have the ability to count their account receivable, either by a summary or statements. You could also see their membership, with the, how long they've been with us. And we could also view their sales history as long as you've been tracking them. If you're tracking their uh, shipping and billing information, you could also run a report based on that and export that information if you needed to. You also have the ability to, to do any open account receivable invoices. So if there's any open account receivable invoices, you could run this report to see what is open. Next category we're moving on to is employee. Very important, we have our hours and wages report if you're tracking your employees in the system. And if, you're, if you have this set up properly, this is how the report will look. Pretty detailed. Shows the date and times they worked, how long they worked for, what job code they were working. And this is a report so you can pay your employees accordingly. Also have server tips. If you're a restaurant, you want to track their server tips, you have the ability to do so as well. Commissions, if you're tracking commissions, you know, maybe your hair salon or maybe an uh, uh, automotive place, and you're tracking your commissions, you can track that as well. You have a listing of all your employees that you have added into the system. You run this report to export it for any need be. Employee history, as long as they've been added into your system, you have the ability to pull up their history on that employee as well. Next category we're moving on to is restaurant. Now in here, we only have a couple of reports. We have number of people served, so you can see how many people have been served either by the month, the week, you know, the month, the, month, the week, uh, you know, for the day, if need be. You know, you have the ability to set these parameters if need be. And you'll notice that certain criteria does open up at the bottom here. So you can select the cashier if you want to know how many people this cashier has served. And again, we have the ability to track server tips per employee. Ingredient theoretical usage. Now, this report is used to track ingredients that are used to complete an order. So let's say that uh, now this can be used in a couple scenarios. Now, ingredients can be used to link your inventory together. A good example would be, uh, let's say, a pack of cigarettes versus a, 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 um, a, pack of cigarettes, a single pack of cigarettes versus, versus a carton pack of cigarettes. Okay? You'd want to deduct the single pack from the carton. So you can track those ingredients that are used to deduct that single pack from the carton of cigarettes. Another example would be, let's say you have a burger, and you have a bun. Uh, you have the bun, lettuce, tomato, uh, and any condiments that are used to complete that order, you can track these, those individual ingredients as well. Delivery tracking statistics. If you're tracking your deliveries in the system, which it's fully capable of, you can assign drivers so they can make your deliveries. Um, you can also pull up statistics on how they're doing for the deliveries. And rentals. You know, pretty self-explanatory. If you're a rental place, we have the ability to track late rentals, currently rented, what you have in store, and the history of uh, any items that have been rented out. Now, the last report I'm going to cover is your end-of-day report. 
we're going to exit out of the reporting screen and we're going to go into number three, tools. As you can see, letter O is end of day. Now the other location of your end of day report is on your login screen. So if we exit out of here and we go to file and then end of day. Now as you can see, as I mentioned earlier, the detailed daily report and the end of day closely resemble each other. This is why they're close together. Usually you can run both reports. If you have any discrepancies on either of these reports, run both of them and you'll find that discrepancy. So now we're just going to hit end of day and we're going to put in our password. Admin on the top and 01 at the bottom. At this point we have an expected deposit of 27.05 and 44 cents. So we'll hit OK to that. Is this amount correct? We'll say, we'll say yes. And at this point, the end of the day is now settling all my credit card transactions because that's an, that's, that's, that's an option that we have to enable. And, we also, and it's also running my end of day report, which is what it's printing out right now to my printer. So now our end of day is complete. Now I have no running totals, and tomorrow when I start my day, my sales will start fresh the blank total. Now to enable the credit card option so your end of day can settle your credit cards is very simple. We're going to go into manager, we're going to type in our admin password which is admin on the top and 01 at the bottom. We're now going to click on setup, letter G, setup screen. We're now going to click on payment processing. After we click on payment processing we're now going to click on other options. As you can see, perform batch settlement on a day is enabled. As long as this is enabled, you don't have to manually run this report. It'll automatically run your end of day and set your credit cards automatically for you. Let's hit update. And the last thing I want to show you is backing up your database. Now the reason why I left this for last is because we ran the end of day and they, they pretty much go together. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit file, database maintenance, backup database. Now when you back up the database, it's recommended to save it to a flash drive, uh, an external hard drive, or maybe even off-site, such as Carbonite. And very simple to do, easy procedure. There's no reason why backups should, should not be made. Um, you know, it just saves the end user you know, from having to start from scratch, which can be very painful. So we're going to hit Backup Database. And again, we're going to type in our admin password, AD, MIN on the top, and 01 at the bottom. So as you can see here, it is strongly recommended to make a credit card settlement before backing up the database. Have you settled your credit card transactions? Well, we just ran our end of day and made sure the option was enabled. So yes, we have run a credit card settlement. So let's hit yes. And at this point, because I do not have a flash drive or an external, I'm going to save my backup to, the, to, the, to my desktop. So I'll call the backup today's date, 6-26-2013 with today's time, so know exactly when the backup was made, 5.28 p.m. I'm now going to hit save. It's going to take a couple seconds, and now my database is backed up. Now, it's very important. I, can't, I really can't stress how important it is to back up the database, so make sure this is very clear. This now concludes our training on reporting. I hope you enjoyed the training. Have a great day.